Hey you guys, I'm back for another video and in today's video y'all, we just chatting. We just busting up, we just gonna chat and just give y'all a little bit of updates or whatever. I need to wipe this shit off. I need to get my car detail ASAP, no Rocky. But anyway, I am at the, the salon, I'm about to get my hair. Um, I'm going to the Dominicans, girl, and I know what y'all gonna say. Girl, don't go to the Dominicans, blah, blah, blah. But I need something today. I need something really quickly and I don't worry, I know how to speak up for myself. So I'm gonna let her know we not doing too much heat. We don't need too much heat. We don't need that much heat. We got, we're going we're gonna to bring it. We're going to tone it down some. Um, and she's not cutting my hair. I can cut my own hair um, because they just get a little seriously happy and I don't got time for it. So we're going we're gonna to let the Dominicans do what they're they going to do. She told me to meet her at 3.30 because um, I got here. I was trying to open the door and the door is locked. So I call like, girl, what's up? Like, where you at? And she like, mind you, it's my first time here. <laughs> and I'm she's like, um, oh, um, 3.30, I can, I can do your hair or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, okay, bet. I'll see you at 3.30. So now I'm just waiting. So while I'm sitting here not doing anything, I said, let me make a video because I need to be a little bit more proactive with making these videos often. Um, today, I'm really going to be on my organization shit. So I want to give y'all like a little bit of tea about me, right? Um, I am learning to um, utilize my organization skills in my all day, everyday life. Like I'm an organized person. I need to start implementing it as more, uh, more and more um, every day. I need to make sure that I am getting things done. Um, so like already, like as it is, I, um, you know, write down my day. Like, okay, tomorrow, since I'm off, I got to do this, 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 and this. And once once it comes to my mind, I'm writing it down, making sure I'm putting in my notes in my phone, making sure I'm getting these things done so that I don't miss things, right? Because I, I have a lot of things that are coming up. I got a lot of things that I got to get ready for. I got to get ready for this surgery, to be exact. But I got other stuff I gotta, I'm working on, so I need to make sure that I'm staying on point. You know what I'm saying? So I, I've always done that. Even with my finances, I'll write down all the money I have, all the money I need to spend on all of my bills, um, money that's going to be just for me. I always do that. I always write down what I need to do. I also created a um, financial debt-free plan for myself because um, I was in debt heavy. I'm talking about like last year was horrible. I'm talking about um, because I got into an accident last year and we're going to talk more about it. Um, sooner than later, um, I'm gonna give y'all the tea, but I gotta wait till the court case is over, right? Because it, it turned into a whole spill in court or whatever the case may be. I was supposed to be at court Wednesday this week, but they wanted to cancel it because my lawyer is, because a girl got a lawyer. <laughs> um, my lawyer is in court for like the next six months or whatever. So I gotta wait until this is all over. When they finally, you know, decide they're gonna drop the charges or whatever the case may be, then I'm going to, um, then I'm going to... Um, tell y'all about the tea about my accident and how it happened and what went down um, once everything is finalized or whatever the case would be. But y'all wait on it because it's coming. Um, it's just a lot. It's a lot that's been going on with me. Like, it's just a lot that I've been trying to work with. A lot of it is really stemming on the inside that I'm really working on being a better version of myself. So let me give y'all like, examples, right? So um, I grew up kind of lazy, y'all. And I'm not going to lie. I want to be like super transparent and upfront about these types of things because it's real life, right? So, you know, like my mother, my grandmother, just my family dynamic. It was just kind of, you know, we we cleaned and things like that. We weren't like filthy but we also were like lazy like clean really od clean once a week like whatever blah 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 um like sundays or saturdays or you know saturday mornings or whatever blah blah after we're done watching our cartoons we got to get to clean it you know what i'm saying we did that once a week and i i started to notice that i'm doing that in my own home but i don't want to do that i actually don't want to go to bed with my house looking like anything besides the way i want it to look you know what i'm saying so i'm trying to implement um, like I said, structure, more structure into my life, more organization, and I'm trying to be consistent. So that's where, because I can't, I can't give social media anything if I cannot be organized and consistent. I cannot do it because my schedule is busy. And if I don't utilize my time properly, I'm never going to be able to get shit done. I'm never going to be able to get anything done. Um, so I am working on that. Um, like another thing too, um, I talked to my friend today and she was just like, um, you know, we got to stop saying, um, that we don't like, she said, for example, like she said, she was smoking vapes or whatever. And she was like, I told myself that, you know, I'm trying to quit. I'm trying to quit. She said, but I got to stop saying that. I need to just say, I don't smoke. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't smoke vapes. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to start, you have to start, you know, speaking that into realization and manifestation, right? So I'm like, you know what? It's so crazy because I do it and I don't even realize I'm doing it. When people ask me, um, do I want to drink? I'm always saying I, I don't drink. Um, I don't drink because I really don't. Like, even though like I'll have a drink, I'm not a drinker. I'm not like, I, I, I'm not a drinker. I'm not a person that's just like, let's go out for drinks. That's not, there's never a suggestion of mine. I've never said, let's go get some drinks ever. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I'm going to, go to a taco spot or whatever case may be, I might, I might, I might slide myself a margarita. I might do that because a, a girl do love her margaritas. You know what I'm saying? Um, strawberry, passion fruit, whatever you got. Um, sugar rim, please. Um, but I, when I dress up my drinks, my drinks are dressed up so they don't taste like alcohol, which means I really just don't even like alcohol. I'm just drinking. You know what I'm saying? So honestly, I'm, I'm working on just saying things are this. So now I'm saying I am an organized person because I am. I really am an organized person. I do it, but I don't do it every day. That's my problem. I'm a consistent person. I'm consistent. I am consistent. I'm just not being consistent with the right stuff. Well, I'm being consistent with stuff. I'm just not being consistent with everything. And I need to be consistent with everything so that things can flow better and I can... I, I would have been... I always wondered why I was not where I needed to be social media wise because, you know, that's something I've always did. I've always put my heart into and whatever the case may be. And it's because I'm not consistent because I'm not... I don't feel like I'm a consistent person. I need to be more consistent, especially with things that I love and I enjoy. Now, um, there was some stuff that happened at my job. Um, that situation is over. So I'll give y'all a story time about that because I do want to, uh, I do want to insert videos and stuff when I do that. So I'm going to wait on that. But it was something that came to my job that really just opened up my eyes to realize like, girl, you got to go as hard as you go for jobs as you do for yourself. And that's the problem. And once I kind of said that to myself, things just started to shift and change and everything feels a little bit different these this go around. And um, I know what I'm here to do. I know what I need to be doing. I know how I can get there and I need to start getting to it. I am getting to it. This is what this is. This is me getting to it. Um, as far as your nephew goes, he is 16 now. Um, you know, taller than me. <laughs> and I'm 5'10". He's taller than me. He's in 10th grade. He's doing his big one. He's, um, you know... Um, he does bands, marching band. He does color guard, winter guard, or whatever, you know, the tossing of the rifles and things like that. Um, he's very musically inclined. He's so intelligent and just becoming such a good young man. And I'm loving it because that's just a reflection of what I've done so far as a parent. Um, our relationship has changed a lot compared to how it was back when we lived in New Jersey um, back then and to compare it to now. It's, it's beautiful. I love our relationship. I love who we are together. I love our dynamic. Um, um, one thing I did want to, to kind of like bring to light, I don't understand how parents kick their children out at 18. And I understand like, you know, you might have a little bit of beef with your kid. Your kid might get all your nerves, whatever the case may be. But you have to, as a parent, you have to find somewhere within there that you might be a part of the problem too. It's not, I'm not going to say that your kid isn't doing their big one. But if y'all both aren't respecting each other, that probably is the reason why y'all don't have a good relationship. It needs to be a mutual thing and you have to show respect too. And sometimes you got to suck some stuff up as a parent to show them better than you can tell them in a positive way so that your kid can know like, you know, I don't want to be mean to my mom. She's actually pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? You have to give that kind of, that kind of vibe first. Um, so I just never understood why people were like, oh, they kicked out. I didn't watch my friends get kicked out at 16, 17, 18. I'm just like, I told my son just recently, like you don't ever you don't have to leave i don't want to say ever okay let's not get crazy but what i will say is you you don't you, there's no rush for you to get out because you're you're legal 18 is not even old enough if you really think about it at 18 were we out here was we out here getting what it was supposed to give no i was not i literally was living at home i was in my high school i was in my 12th grade yeah i just graduated i was just graduating and i, I did go to college but I still was learning and figuring things out. Like, you're just, it's not that. And this world is not set up for your kid to be kicked out at 18. Unless they're making money enough to take care of a one bedroom apartment, they're not going to be able to do it. It's expensive. Everything is expensive. Everything is, is continuing to go up. So, my baby will always have a room in my house. My son will always have a room in my house. My young man will have, always have a room in my house. That's your, that's your space. That is your space. If you have to come over, you call. If he ever calls me like, mom, I'm not doing too well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to recoup. I need to, you know, get back. I need to get, you know, get back my get back. Baby, 
you, what are you talking about? Just come on. Let's go. Let me know when you come in. Um, I got your key made. I'll meet you. Matter of fact, he's always going to have a key to the house. It's his. It's a part of him. Um, oh, which speaking of houses, right? I'm planning on buy, buying a house. That's what I'm working towards now. And um, my plan is to buy my first home, right? My first home is going to be for my son. I'm a I'm a buy it when I pay it halfway off. I'm gonna put it up for rent and I'm gonna go get me another one. And then when I'm when that's up for rent and doing this big one, when the house is completely paid off, I'm going to turn everything over to my son so that he has his first property before he even graduates college. Like that's my goal. Um, and I know you know they be having 15 years and all that. I like to pay shit off early. I know I'm gonna be putting more money into my home. Um, I know how I know how I am, y'all. My house is gonna be paid off. I'm pretty sure half the time that it takes for it to actually get paid off. So I'm going to run that house over to my son. And then he'll have, when he steps into the world, you have your own property, not even just a place to stay. You have your own property. You have, and if you want to put that bitch up for rent, you want to sell it, you can do whatever you want with it because it is your property. But that's going to give you a kickstart into life. I'll give you my advice if you want it. But at the end of the day, it's your property, and I want that for him because I didn't. I, I I did not prepare for this. I didn't think about these things. I didn't think to make sure that my son was 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 great. I make I didn't make sure of that. I just we've been surviving, and I'm tired of surviving. I no longer want to survive. I actually want to make it in this world, and I feel like we can do that because I'm way too smart to be playing um and to be uh, just check the check and bounce. No, we're not doing it. So this is the time for us to get serious and get things together. We can do all this and we can do it because I can do it. If, if I'm telling him that he can do whatever he puts his mind to, why can't I do that for myself? Baby, this is just me giving y'all a little bit of tea, giving y'all a little bit of updates. Uh, we will get into more specifics as time comes. Like I said, y'all will see more vlogs or whatever because it's time for me to get my surgery. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to be going to Baltimore. Y'all, we are literally 11 days away. 11 days away. That's it. We are almost there. And when we get there, baby is up and stuck. 11 more days until my surgery day. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yikes. We're scared here. <laughs> 11 more days and we are in there under the knife. So y'all pray for me. I love y'all so much. All the videos at the time, make sure you guys click on those past videos that you have missed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. You'll not be disappointed. Oh, <laughs> Make sure you click on the notification bell. Click it on and get everything I post. My posts are on point. <laughs> I want to say that I love, 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 love you guys. Be through, through you. Bye, y'all.